Alrighty, uh, today we're, uh, we're going to look at using what's called a ENT conduit. Don't get it confused with EMT because EMT is uh, metal. And uh, we're going to install a light switch today here in the country I'm born in. And I'll show you how this uh, flexible conduit is used. You can uh, cut this with a hacksaw to the uh, length that you need it. So I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're going to use a, a non-metallic box here. And we will uh, break out the uh, knockout. You can see the little knockout in there. Now this is what the uh, ENT slips into and you can see the little groove here and up here. That's what grabs onto it. So you got to buy the uh, rings here that go on the uh, Romex connectors. Okay, so you put this in the top of the box like that. You put that little ring in there like this. Okay, and you get it slid in like that. Okay, then you can uh, uh, slip your wire into the... We're just doing a very short run up to a light. Okay, so I'll show you how this clips into the the box here goes in like that. Hear it lock in there. Hear it click in there the second time. Now it's in all the way. And we'll screw our box to the uh, Okay, so on a single pole switch, you got two screws there, and you have your uh, green screw. So we will uh, strip our uh, black and white. Okay, so we will take and hook our ground wire up first here.
Okay, now we can turn the switch around so that the ground wire is on this side. Now we'll hook our black and white up. We'll make a loop the direction that the screw turns. As you can see how the wires are around the screw there. I got them going the direction that the screw turns. So we'll fold them back into the box. Okay, I'll bring the camera over and I'll let you see how I folded the wires in and keep the ground wires away from the uh, terminals. See how I keep the ground wire over on the uh, left side and the black and the white over on the uh, right side. Okay, so you got to use the... Uh, half inch pipe straps here and you uh, fasten this conduit down. So you switch into the box all the way so it's done all the way.
So uh, that is how to uh, wire a switch that is uh, uh, after the light. And here in the country I'm born in, where we use 120 volts, 60 cycles AC. One thing you want to do though when you hook that switch up after the light is remark the white wire with some black tape or some red tape. Peace. Thanks for watching.